Hey guys, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you to Let's Play Lundra Episode 5. Um, when we left off, we saw in Olin's dream, before he died, that the mines had collapsed because of the Moog, the monkeys. So, let's head off there, up to the mines. I mean, Justin didn't want us to go there, of course. He wanted to protect us, sort of thing. But, we're going to have to go. We must sneak out. <laughs> right. The reason why we had to get that Gilded Falcon from Olin's house before is because it's still there. That's why. <laughs> I thought the house was destroyed by now. Never mind. Okay. I'm glad the house is so close by. I went the exact same wrong way as last time. <laughs> oh no. Okay, back down, back down, back down. Wow, using the D-pad now seems so weird. Really does. And try something, sir. Two seconds. Let's see how it is. No, it won't even play in analog. So back to digital. Let's go up here. Let's just take the stairs. <laughs> Why'd you have that mining bomb? You crazy? You can't go into the mine. You should be lucky to come out alive. I refuse to let you go, Lundra. You can't. You shouldn't. Uh, I give up. Promise me this, alright, Lundra? If you sense danger, don't be a hero. Just get out of there alive, okay? That is okay. Right, so any balls we see like that, that sort of stand out all crumbly and stuff. We need to use the bomb for. <clears throat> okay, coal mine. This is a tricky dungeon, sort of. It's the first one that could really cause a little bit of problem. But still, not too much problem. Falling rocks ahead, yeah, yeah. It's the longest dungeon so far, but that's not saying much. Okay, we need a key to go in there. And we do need to. Um. <laughs> okay. Let's get going. I don't mind this place. You can't actually destroy these with mining bombs. I don't know why, but you can't. Switch point map. Left working area, right shaft one. Right, these enemies are quite tough. They take a bit of killing, and you can't hurt them when they're inside their rock. You have to wait till they come out on their own. Attacking the rock will make them stay in for even longer, really. Die. Right, there we go. <laughs> these are new again. A new type of blob. These ones spit at you. Rather than. Oops. They spit at you rather than just touching you. <laughs> if that makes sense. Ooh, there's still Moog in the, in the mine. How about that? Does that hurt Furlos one? Does it make you bleed? Ooh, Kiki. Smash the Furl Furlos ones. Kill, kill, kill them all. <laughs> They're so nice. Alundra, help me. Another furless one? Come close to this furless one so we can spill both your delicious brains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can try. Okay. <laughs> You're a strong warrior. Listen, I'm not long for this merciless world. Here, take this. It's the access key to the power room. There's still two other people in the mines. So that's two of the miners dead. Olin and this guy by here, whatever his name was. <laughs> Who cares? Money. Jump in. I think it makes you go a bit faster than just walking in water. Here we go. 60 gilder and two herbs in one room, as well as the key that we need. <laughs> That's good. Nope. 
boop, boop, boop. Fuck out. Yay. Okay, we can't go in there yet because the switch is rusted. So, the only thing we got left to do is start the power, start the engine in here. If you remember in the dream, the guy said left, left, right, left. So, there we go. <laughs> That's the engine sorted. We can now go further in. Let's have a look up here, sir. Okay, nothing up there. <clears throat> now, what that does is we can ride in these. I don't know why you need an engine to be allowed to ride in these. And as you just saw, that gate just opened as we went past. So we can have a look at what's down here first. Then we'll head up there and see what's up there. Power junction for mine tracks. Okay, let's try this room first. <laughs> uh, can't reach the switch from this side, but we had to come in here first because that little green explosion thing on the side of the screen, it made it so that we can walk through the wall on the other side and hit that switch. So that's what we're going to do. Blob, blob, blob. <laughs> Dead blob. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, 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 I could do that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Um. Crap. I don't worry too much about being hit by these. They I think they do one damage. Is that really worth worrying about? Nah. Power's on to branch carts to access shaft left one. So we need, no need to go back, but it'll be easier this time because we can... Nope. Just... No, oh, no. It won't be easier. We could have just jumped across the top of all these wooden thingies, but never mind. We got hurt a bit instead. See if we can get a bit of health back from these enemies. Okay, we did get some. Let's see where this leads us now then. Okay. Now we go back in here without that mining cart. It seems a bit tedious, there's quite a bit of backtracking in this dungeon. Oh, oh, forgot, 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 forgot. There we go. As you see, the track just changed, so it goes left instead of straight down by there. That's where we want to go, for now. You can't actually walk along these tracks, it does take the mining tracks. We need a key to go down there, through that door. And I always seem to do this bit wrong. <laughs> back in. We need to go back and get the key. Oh, second key of the dungeon. This is why it's a little bit tougher, because there's no certain way to go. It's not holding your hand through the dungeon like with the first two, pretty much. How they pretty much did. Um. Hmm. Why am I going in there? Wrong way. Ah. And go and hit that switch a second, come back. Won't be two seconds. Okay, back. The switch I hit was this switch right by here, so we go straight down again. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I see, I see. We were meant to hit that switch and get the key from where it leads us to now. Down here.
<laughs> the blobs don't stand a chance. Okay, we can't go through there yet either. Come on. By far the easiest way to kill these things is with boxes and jars and whatever you can find. Same with most enemies really. They're really powerful, these boxes. <laughs> Now that switch is done, we can go up here and through here. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. You must try to kill me. I know, I know. But you're not going to. Hmm. I open the door back up, kill nose. Jalen doesn't respond. So I already begin to stiffen. Got a key. So, there's still one person left in this mine. One miner from the village. Actually, I think they live just outside the village, but... Of course, I'm not certain on that. I don't think you ever see their houses. Now we want to head back to this switch so we can go back up. And in we go. Okay, I'm on mine track. A bit faster, please. Before I take you apart. No, we never need never need to come back out to this little bit. So we have finally sort of done the first section of this dungeon, of these mines. And considering I'm trying to keep these episodes short, I'm thinking of breaking the video now, because these, in dungeons, are save points. You'll be seeing a lot of them, you'll be using a lot of them. Actually, before I go off, I might as well get, I think it's a treasure chest or something around here. Why not? Why not? I think I might have found a reason why not. <laughs> oh no. Just, just down here. Herb, good, 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 good. Let's just, just. Herb, carrying too much. Okay, you can only keep nine herbs on you, so that's where we're screwed. Be back in a bit. Okay, that's all for this video then. Just a couple of muck-ups at the end. <laughs> okay, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in a bit.